To me, Supra is trying to always be st stand out versus, you know, just fit in on the shelf. When we did the Sky Top back in like 2007, it came out. It was perceived kind of like this weird thing that was on the shelf and it really stood out, but not everyone was on board right away. So to me, that's what Supra is. It's, it's pushing the boundaries of design and like trying to set the trend of, of what the future is going to be with footwear. When it launched in 2006, it was very skate driven. It's very just natural to us to try and want to make skate shoes, but you know, we're also very into fashion and, and paying attention to the brand. There's a few different types of skate shoes that you can make. Some, some of our skaters don't like skating in bulk because they jump down bigger stuff, so that's like a totally different shoe. S1W is a skate futuristic basketball inspired shoe, so this is kind of mixing both worlds. This outsole is fully cored out, and then we've got a super foam footbed. The whole foam is in this thing, so it's very lightweight, um, futuristic. It's got to function, it's got to feel good, it's got to be right for skateboarding, but really the skateboarder really wants it to look a certain way and his down view is very important to him. I mean, we need to keep everything going, you know, it ain't broke, we gotta keep the sky top, the baiters, all that stuff going. Trying to, to reinvent ourselves again and try and, you know, keep people guessing, like, you know, what's the next sky top, what's sky top for? You know, and surprise them and make it, make it different. And, and change and try and change people's perception of, of what it is.